Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? It's a wonderful morning, and the early morning mist is down, but I'm hoping that it will brighten up a bit later on. And I have bought back the chickens. Uh, most of you said that you would like me to stay playing this map, even though it means that we've got to dial down the graphics settings slightly, so that is what I will be doing. Uh, I'm leaving the traffic switched off, though, because um, every little bit helps, and that, I think, does help a bit. So we've got our chickens back, uh, all 100 of them. We have 196 eggs in our backpack. The question that I asked last week was, which tractor do you want me to buy? Now, we just go in here. Did you want me to buy the Fent 1050? I could have actually said uh, it was that one there, because that's a 430 horsepower tractor, and it's actually quite a nice one. Uh, however, I didn't. That wasn't one of the options, so never mind. I also asked if you would want this one, and... Uh, where's the last? That one there, that John Deere 8370. I had a few votes for the John Deere, which surprised me. I thought I would actually get more votes for the John Deere than I did. I had quite a few votes for this um, Deutzfahr Warrior, the 320 horsepower tractor, but overwhelmingly, almost all of you said you want me to get the Fent 1050. So I will be getting the Fent 1050. A lot of you said that you want me to make sure I get the twin wheels to go with it, so I will get the, t the twin wheels. Uh, obviously, I don't have £390,000 at the moment, so that is on our to-do list rather than our immediate do list. And that brings me to this week's question. I have got various crops that need combining and so on, and we're often having to run around the map. So while I'm, I'm just going to quickly nip up to the sugar beet storage, and then I will continue on talking. Okay, uh, first of all, you'll notice that I have bought this trailer. But no, my question is, do you want me... I did already say that I didn't intend to use mods such as Follow Me, Auto Combine, that sort of thing. I wanted to use sort of vanilla methods for playing this map. But I'm now going to put that one over to you. I'm not going to use course play. I'm going to... Hang on, I'll... Uh, I'll talk about the trailer in a second. Um, I'm not going to use course play. That's not one I want to use on this map. I've never used it before. I don't really want to start learning for this map. I will teach myself that one another time. But I would like to use uh, auto combine and follow me. Follow me just seems incredibly useful. So I'm giving you the option. Should I use install and start using on this map? Follow me and auto combine. Yes or no? Head down below. Let me know what you think. It's your vote. It's your game. Now, this little trailer that I've got behind me, the Marshall QM trailer, I bought this one because I thought that the Flegel Bull is is a big trailer, and it's a little bit too big for quite a few tasks, uh, especially like just moving a few root crops and stuff like that up to the farm up here. And this one now, I can see over the top of it when I'm reversing, backing up, that sort of thing. So that is why I've gone and bought that one. It wasn't too expensive, but we've got quite a few different... Ta Ooh. The crops are actually changing. The um, the crop in the field here is actually ready to harvest, or at least is around the edge. There's a chunk in the middle that's not ready to harvest. Anyway, that we've got um, field... which is it? It's field 15. We've still got to harvest that one, that one, and the sugar beet yet. So those are still to be done before we get to the ones that we've planted. I have gone and spread fertilizer up on field... which one is it? It's field 22 that we drilled up there. I didn't think you'd want to see me doing that again because, um, yeah, this is not the most exciting of tasks. So that is all done. And what else have I done? I've been, I have been quite busy. I'm moving, sort of moving stuff around, that kind of thing. Um, but right now we've got, a, we've got a lot of little tasks to do. The pigs and the beef, they need grains. They need earth roots, which I've got now. Uh, silage are doing all right, but they also need water and they need straw. I need to bring everything up here and let them have all of it. Uh, the cows are run out of grass, so they've gone from 80% productivity down to 45% uh, productivity, which is completely unacceptable. Now, I'm going to try and back in here and do that one first. Now, I'm going to try and do this all from in-cab. It would be nice if we could get this one done from in-cab as long as I don't actually run into any fence posts or anything like that. Now, I don't want to put too much in here because... Oops, I've gone back a bit too fast. We, we got the potatoes. We do have a field full of sugar beet that we can use. And we will be using it. Oop. 
Right, so they've had all of that. Uh, I have got a little bit of sugar beet, but it does mean that the beef animals aren't going to have quite as much in the way of earth fruits. At least not this time round. We'll have to top them up. Actually, I might go and get the rest of the sugar beet. I could always stick the rest of the sugar beet in there. That could be an option. Now, let's back in here. I have got a baler here that I could take and sell for a little bit of money. Um, there was something else that I was wondering about. Oh, uh, the grass. I've already hired a mower for the day for the grass. And I think that this mower is absolutely fantastic. So that is one that uh, I'm going to be using. It's the only mower I could find that I was happy with that's got a swapping option. There are a couple of mowers that have got swapping options, but there don't seem to be very many available for uh, this version of the game. 2013, there was loads of them, but this version, 2015, does not have very many mowers available with swapping options, and I've tried a few, and I wasn't happy with their performance. I'm very, very fussy when it comes to mods, but I have finally found one that I was happy with, so that is the one that I will be using. I'm going to go up to the sugar beet and get the rest of the sugar beet. And I'm going to take it in and tip it in for the animals in there. So that they've got, so the beef animals are full as well. And then I'm going to head down to the sheep store and, or the, the sheep area so that we can load up some grain. We can take that up as well. Then we've got to get the water bowser on and take water up there. And then we've got to go and do mowing. We've got a busy day. I'm just backing in now. I've got the sugar beet. Uh, there's only two ton in here, so it's hardly worth bothering with, to be honest. So we'll chuck that in. It's gone up a bit high. So that isn't actually full. Uh, we've got 6,000, basically, earth fruits for the 100 pigs, and we've got 5,200. So we, well, it's almost full. We've almost got enough in there, but not quite. So I'll take this trailer back down the bottom now, and we will get grains. Um... I'm going to have to go and pick up the telehandler as well. Take that down the bottom so that we can get grain and we can put that into here as well. It would be really cool if we could store some grain up here. But unfortunately, I don't think that is an option. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to ferry it back and forth. Right. I have brought this one down here. And I have just realised that I've actually left the conveyor up at the other farm which is slightly inconvenient so I think today uh, actually we don't want this shed do we we want it's the one down here isn't it let's have a look we well I'm hoping we've still got barley in here we should have let's open it up yes there we have a nice little pile of barley so today just for something a little bit different I'm going to use the bucket uh, rather than doing everything all the time with the now where's the best place to put this one so as if i put it actually i can just leave it there that'll be okay it's not that much further that i've got to drive with this one i think that will work out okay and let's see if we can do this from in cab because we've got the shorter trailer it might actually work all right we might be able to do this oh, it's a bit difficult to do it from in cab when you are uh now i've got to line this one up right there we go and hitch Whoa! Right, that bit didn't work so well, but hopefully now the rest of it will work all right. Uh, yeah, okay, I do know which way I'm, I'm steering. It is a little bit disconcerting with this game when you're um, trying to turn. Oh, I'm coming out of cab. Uh, it's a little bit sort of disconcerting when you're trying to turn and reverse. It's, I've spent years driving tractors, but because you sort of... It's something to do with the way that you're facing. It just doesn't seem right. You're, you, you're trying to turn in the opposite direction to which you would normally. Um, I've, I know how to drive a tractor. I have spent years driving tractors and reversing trailers and doing all sorts of these tasks. And I don't normally have any problems with it whatsoever. But as soon as I start playing this game, I sort of start turning the wrong way it's because there by doing it like that sort of half turning i'm all right but when i'm facing completely the wrong way i don't have sort of the frame of reference of my body being turned my body is still facing forwards and so i'm sort of thinking that oh well i'm i'm still facing forwards and so i'm trying to turn the steering wheel the way that i am accustomed to turning it 
I don't know if that sort of explains it well or not, but um, that's, that's about as close as I can get to explaining the phenomenon of my not being able to drive. Uh, yeah, so I do apologise for that if you think that I'm... Yeah, okay, anyway. Uh, let's get another load of this in. I'm not sure how much we got in this store, actually. Not very much. So we will have to, when we do another harvest, we got the sugar beet there, but the next harvest that we do, we're going to have to store quite a bit because I, I think we're going to take 6,000 grains for each if it's like the earth roots. Uh, what are we going to be able to do? I don't think we've got enough. I don't think we've got 12,000 of this. Now, let's come in here, tip it into the trailer. As long as I get it facing in alright, it should be okay. Right, that's all gone in quite nicely. Lower down. And back up. Now, I'm not going to need anything to do anything else with this trailer uh, right now. It's just going to need to be these grains. So, once I've taken it up there and I've tipped... If we've got any left in the trailer, I'll simply leave it there at the yard. Right, that is every little drop of grain. 2,617 on top of 9. Might be enough. Might be enough. I don't know. We'll empty out into the beef side first and then do the pig second. I think that's how we're going to do it. Let's move it up over a bit there. Right, that is everything tipped out. Close that up. I'm going to park this one in here. I'll leave it down here because I use it for picking up the pallets of sheep's wool every now and then when we do need them. So, oops, no, I want to switch the engine off first. Let me go and close these doors up and then we can drive it up to the uh, beef and pig's yard. The beef and pig's yard, that's the one I'm looking for. There we go. I do like these sliding doors. They are pretty cool. Okay, I'm going up to the beef and pigs yard. This trailer is also, I think, slightly shorter than the Flegel Bull. It does seem to get around the corners a little bit easier. I haven't been catching up on anything, at least not that I'm aware of anyway. So let me just back in here and we can tip straight out into the grain bin. There we go. Right, and watch that meter fill right up. There we go. Right, that has left me 5,600. Let's take a quick look. Uh, grain 5,927. So it is just a tiny fraction underneath uh, 6,000. So we could do some more silage here. We will get more silage at some point. We need water and straw as well. So the only way to do straw is we're going to have to bring up a couple of bales. And we're also going to need to do water. So I think that what we'll do is I'm going to go and tip this trailer into the other one. And, yeah, I think we'll leave this trailer here and we can just swap it for the water bowser. We can take the water bowser back to the yard because I'm pretty sure there is a water outlet down at the yard, which would have been really handy to know last day. Remember that episode where we uh, spent ages hunting around the map trying desperately to find where the water was yeah it turns out that it was actually back at the yard and we just didn't know it so let's pop that in there right that is now completely well that's, that one's almost full but this trailer is at least completely empty so i'm gonna back this trailer into there if we turn around we can back it straight into that shed get around this corner and then i can back it up there now i'm gonna want to bring three or four bales up here so that I can tip in. Right, let's park that one there and unhitch. I have had a suggestion from... I've actually had a couple people suggest it now that I start using the PTO mod where I've got to get out of the tractor to hitch things up. I am seriously considering it. Uh, I have not ruled that one out. Um, I'm considering not using it on this map and using it on whichever map we decide to play next. Uh, not quite sure yet. I'll I'll still think about that one. For the moment, we'll just stick with it like this. Now, let's just back in here and get that water bowser on. There we go. 
Because, I mean, there's other things that I can do with this map as well. I think this one... Has this one got the milk sell thing where you can sell the milk yourself rather than... I'm not actually sure. I don't know where you would sell the milk to if you chose to stop normal sale at midnight. Anyway, I'm going to get this one back to the yard and then we'll decide what we're going to do next. Well, I had a little bit of a think and I think really we should be giving our animals water as a priority. Now, somewhere in here, there's the mowers that I've hired. So we've got to use those today. I didn't hire a front mower to go with them because we have a front mower already. So we'll just use that one. And let me come up over here. Hopefully we can fill this one from this spot right here. Is that going to be close enough? Refill water trailer. Would you believe it? All that running around last time, we've got a refill point right here in the yard. Oh, I feel slightly embarrassed about that. Never mind. So, yeah, we, we do need to make sure our animals have got water to drink. So we will do that as a priority. We will get this one up to the beef and the pigs and we will fill them up we might have to go twice so then tomorrow we can start cutting grass and I'm gonna do a good cut this time because we've only sort of just put a little bit in cows to tide them over and uh, sort of the same with the sheep we don't have to put grass in for the beef and pigs although they still need straw so we will have to take bales of straw up for them as well we might do that first I tell you what actually I might take um, six bales of straw up there before the next episode and once I've got there and then obviously next episode the first thing that we can do is spread straw in for the beef and the pigs I think that might actually be the sensible way to do it yes I have convinced myself that is the best way to do it because that way we will have um, straw in your know, bedding in for these animals and they need bedding we can't oops wrong button uh, we can't not have bedding for the animals, that's just mean, that's cruel. Uh, so if we've got animals, we're going to have to look after them properly. The cows are not going to starve because they've got piles of silage to eat, so we don't need to worry about them going hungry. So we're going to have to do this as priority right. I can't unload yet, do I need to get closer? I think I need to swing it over a little bit closer to that point there. It might be that I've got to turn around. If I go and do the um, beef animals first. Yeah. Right, we'll do the beef first. And then we'll come back and give the pigs some water. I might have to go... I, don't, I can't remember how much water they would take. So let's just drive over here. We can go up close to it. I'm going to come out of cab a second for this one. Let's zoom out a bit. So where is the refill point? refill water there right that is now filling up you can see that ball moving up well I did say that last time that's moving right at the spout it looks like one full bowser is what the beef animals need so we're gonna have to go and get another full bowser there we go maximum for six days so I will go back and I will get another full bowser for the pigs Let's spin round go back and get the other lot And we're back to the yard again. Let's just come in here. We'll quickly spin around in the field. I think we should... This field, I'm not actually planning to, like, harvest it. Because we use it for delivery for uh, any machines that we hire and stuff like that, and we're always in and out of there, I would say that it doesn't actually warrant being a field that should have a crop taken from it. So maybe we need to get a topper so that we can just go through and top the grass off every now and then um, just to keep it tidy and that way we're not actually using it for a full crop that could be yeah I, th I think we're gonna do that I will find a topper at some point so that we can go through and top that grass but it's not one that we're actually going to be using right we'll just pull in here and if I swing round to the left like that then I can back up to the water tower back right up there and I should be able to unload it back a bit further is that going to be close enough yep perfect there goes the little ball right up to the top and that is actually about it so this week's question 
do you want me to start using auto follow and is it auto follow or oh, follow me it's a follow me it's called i think and uh, auto combine i'm not going to be using course play on this map uh, but i will use the auto follow uh, the the follow me rather follow me and auto combine if you would like me to so head down below let me know in the comment section which one you know, if you would like me to use them or not and I will endeavor to do whatever it is that you tell me you want because obviously it is your vote it is your game um, that's really all I got time for I will get some straw up here I'm gonna get a few bales up here and we'll probably store them in this shed over here then in our next episode the beginning of the next episode I will bring up the oh what's it called so I'm trying to remember the name of that thing it's um I'm you know I am sorry I'm going to have to look it up it's uh oh it's a coon it's it's coon primor the straw spreader so I will bring up the coon primor straw spreader so that we can use that one to put straw in for the beef and the pigs because we haven't actually used that one yet we've had it for quite a while and we've not used it at all so let's unhitch that one there and I'll tell you what while as I've got to go and get the trailer that is currently up at the store i will take this baler with me and we will sell it so this one will get us a nice little bit of money so let's just back in here and pick that one up it's got almost a full bale of oats in there which is a little bit unfortunate but there is nothing i can do about that so we'll just have to sell it all together so until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later